ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತಾ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿಯತ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಇಸ್ ವಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಅಸ್ ದಟ್ ದ ಸೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸೋ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟರ್ಬುಲೆಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಫೋರ್ಸಿಬ್ಲಿ ಕ್ಯಾರಿ ಅವೇ ದ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಈವನ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಎಂಡೌಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಪವರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರಿಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ಬಿ ಕೇರ್ಫುಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆರ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ನೈಸ್ ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಯು ಕನೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕಂ ಯತೋಹ್ಯಪಿ ಕೌಂತೆಯ ಯತೋಹ್ಯಪಿ ಕೌಂತೆಯ ಪುರುಷಸ್ಯ ವಿಪಶ್ಚಿತ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯಾ ಪ್ರಮಾಧೀನಿ ಹರಂತಿ ಪ್ರಸಭಂ ಮನಃ ಯತ ವೈಲ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸಿಂಗ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಹಿ ಫಾರ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಅಪಿ ಈವನ್ ಕೌಂತೆಯ ಕೌಂತೆಯ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರೋನಿಮಿಕ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರೋನಿಮಿಕ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ನೇಮ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಿ ಮದರ್ ಕೌಂತೆಯ ಕುಂತಿ ಕುಂತಿ ಪುತ್ರ ಅರ್ಜುನ ಪುರುಷಸ್ಯ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಜೀವಾತ್ಮ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ವಿಪಶ್ಚಿತ ಒನ್ ಎಂಡೌಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರಿಮಿನೇಷನ್ ವಿಪಶ್ಚಿತ ಡಿಸರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ವಿಪಶ್ಚಿತ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಸರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ನಾಲೆಜಬಲ್ ಮೆಚ್ಯೂರ್ ಡಿಸರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕೆಪ್ಯಾಸಿಟಿ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರಿಮಿನೇಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಗುಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬ್ಯಾಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಶ್ರೇಯಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ರೇಯಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದಟ್ ಸೊ ವಿಪಶ್ಚಿತ ಆರ್ ಯು ಎ ವಿಪಶ್ಚಿತ ಓಕೆ ಗುಡ್ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯಾ ದ ಸೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಪ್ರಮಾಧೀನಿ ಟರ್ಬುಲೆಂಟ್ ಕೇಯೋಟಿಕ್ ಹರಂತಿ ಕ್ಯಾರಿ ಅವೇ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಹೈಜ್ಯಾಕ್ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಕಿಡ್ನ್ಯಾಪ್ ಅಬ್ಡಾಕ್ಟ್ ಹರಂತಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಕಿಡ್ನ್ಯಾಪ್ ಕ್ಯಾರಿ ಅವೇ ಸಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಸಭಂ ಫೋರ್ಸಿಬ್ಲಿ ಮನಃ ದ ಮೈಂಡ್ ನಾವು ದ ಸೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಆರ್ ವೆರಿ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟರ್ಬುಲೆಂಟ್ ಓ ಅರ್ಜುನ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಫೋರ್ಸಿಬ್ಲಿ ಕ್ಯಾರಿ ಅವೇ ಯುವರ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ even if you are endowed with discrimination so they are like wild horses <laughs> that have been newly harnessed impetuous reckless eh? and disciplining them is an important battle that we all have to fight within ourselves so spiritual growth is possible only when you tame these wild horses which are the senses the five senses are the wild horses you have to tame them hmm? and these horses uh, which are tainted with lust and greed and they can sabotage and derail our entire life actually the spiritual process will be completely uh, uh, um, derailed hmm? even uh, most uh, uh, you know uh, well intentioned yogi or ascetic we have heard of many stories you know vishwamitra ran after menaka so there one more story now in the bhagavatam there is a character called saubhari 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 appears in the rigveda also there is a saubhari sutra a great rishi there is also a scripture called saubhari samhita okay he was a maharshi great rishi great siddhis he had terrific control over the body and he used to be able to submerge himself in the yamuna river and do dhyana for hours together under the water one day he noticed two fish mating and it is like some kind of a porno pornographic flick for him so his mind got carried away so he also desired for sexual association and then he gave up that uh, spiritual practice sadhana immediately came out of the water and he started wondering how to fulfill his desire now so he went to the king hmm, of ayodhya his name was mandhata mandhata uh, who was a very noble magnanimous king who had he had 50 daughters and all of them were very beautiful so saubhari approached the king and asked for the hand of one of the 50 princesses mandata was worried he was first of all he wondered about the sanity of this man he is an old man eh? and he wants to get married to one of my daughters and he is a powerful rishi and he has so many siddhis and if he refuse hmm, then he might uh, curse and you know a lot of problems are possible so what to do and if he allows uh, him to be married his daughter's life will be ruined so he was in a catch 22 situation so uh, he said anyway now nothing something has to be done so he said okay rishi ji i please take a seat i will bring all my 50 daughters i will they will all come and they'll stand before you and 
whosoever chooses you will become yours in marriage now the king mandhata was confident that his daughters would not choose this old man uh, with this big flowing beard and wiry old man so he thought that daughters will not choose and therefore the old man will have to go away and finally somehow he hoped that he will be able to solve this problem like this so saubhari is a great rishi you know they can read your mind ritambara pragna they can read our minds so saubhari read the mind of the king and he said okay okay don't worry not now tomorrow i'll come okay next day i will come tomorrow i'll come and then when i come in the meanwhile you arrange your daughters they can all come and see me so then we will plan according to whatever you said so saubhari went away and using his yogic powers he transformed himself into a handsome young man ha eh? a eh, six footer well built chiseled body and sharp features handsome well perfumed powerful muscular ha eh? just imagine like uh, sri rama if you read ramayana uh, rama's figure huge heavily muscled rama is not lean and all that his shoulders are well rounded eh? and he walks uh, when he walks it looks like the walk of an elephant majestic gait so saubari transformed himself into a very handsome very powerful very irresistibly charismatic young man hmm? like a deva gandharva so he came then he presented himself and all the daughters were brought and uh, when they saw this uh, saubari such a handsome irresistibly charming pure macho virile with so much uh, masculinity they all fell in love with him and they all wanted to marry him <laughs> now the king was bound by the word he had given and he was compelled to marry all his daughters to the sage eh? now but the king was worried that uh, you know there will be fights 50 daughters one man and they will fight uh, and uh, since they have to share one husband so again saubhari promised the king don't worry and using his siddhis he created assumed 50 forms and he created 50 palaces for his wives and lived separately with each of them and thousands of years he was enjoying with his wives huh? he cloned himself sort of 50 forms and the purana state that saubhari had many thousands of children uh, from them and those children had for the children until a tiny city had been established saubhari city <laughs> and one day saubhari after thousands of years he came to his senses and exclaimed aho imam pashyata me vinasham aho imam pashyata me vinasham akars in the bhagavatam 9650 aho imam pashyata me vinasham translated it means oh humans those of you who are making plans to achieve happiness through material acquisitions be careful look at my degradation where i was and where i am now i created 50 bodies using my siddhis and lived with 50 women for thousands of years and yet the senses did not experience fulfillment they only kept hankering for more the senses are not satisfied it is like an insatiable fire dushpurena analena cha krishna uses this phrase dushpurena insatiable anala anala means fire dushpurena analena cha that means a fire that can never be satiated in the, if you pour ghee fuel into the fire it will consume that fuel and it will ask for more the higher can the fire cannot be extinguished by fuel being poured into that so senses are like the fire Uh, any amount of trying to satisfy them is not going to calm them down in fact they will rage more strongly so saubhari rishi is warning all mankind learn from my downfall and be warned not to venture in this direction so after some time simply detached uh, while you are in the grihastha ashram yes you are entitled to some enjoyment but uh, <laughs> so saubhari is warning saubhari sutra will help you 
This is the Saubhari Sutra, the essence of the Saubhari Sutra. Uh, he was a man, Saupe Bhari. Uh, perhaps that's not the original int- uh, interpretation of the word, but Saupe Bhari. Hai. Uh, he enjoyed 50 wives, 50 bodies, and thousands of years and thousands of children, a whole city. Still, his desire for enjoyment did not get uh, extinguished. Yatato hyapikaunte ya purushasya vipaschitaha indriyani pramadhini haranti prasabhammanaha. So Krishna is warning you. Jai Shri Ram.